An individual is born with an inherited somatotype or body type based on skeletal frame and body composition, which are the ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Ectomorphs are tall and lean, with little body fat and little muscle. They have a hard time gaining weight. Fashion models and some sports players fit this category. While most of us envy these genetically blessed individuals, some male ectomorphs may not be thrilled with their narrow chested frames, and some female ectomorphs long for more womanly curves. Endomorphs, on the other hand, have lots of body fat, lots of muscle, and gain weight easily. Most rugby players fall into this category. Mesomorphs are athletic, solid, and strong. They are not overweight and not underweight, and they can eat what they want without worrying too much about it. They gain and lose weight without too much effort. These next set are a combination somatotypes, which include pear-shaped ectoendomorphs with thin, delicate upper bodies and high fat storage in the hips and thighs, and apple-shaped endoectomorphs with high fat storage in the midsection and thin lower bodies. In trying to maintain our fitness, we need to remember that training for each body somatotype is different. For endomorphs, training should be predominantly focused on fat loss techniques until a desirable body composition and functional cardiorespiratory efficiency have been achieved. Resistance training should be used to strengthen muscles and stabilize joints to support more efficient movements. For ectomorphs, they face the opposite set of challenges as primarily endomorphic individuals. Most ectomorphs have developed bodies with highly active metabolisms and lanky bone structures, making it hard for them to put on mass and keep it on. For this reason, exercise techniques for hypertrophy and maximal strength should be prioritized with a greatly reduced focus on cardiorespiratory training to reduce overall energy utilization. There's no avoiding the fact that mesomorphs have things a bit easier than others. Their metabolisms are relatively efficient. They carry functional, if not athletic, muscle mass and are essentially ready to take on whatever fitness goal they please with minimal foundational work. Whichever category of soma type you find yourself in, always remember that keeping fit is always very necessary.